Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing, including sinking funds and savings challenges. So we are in the midst of revamping our binder system for 2023. Today we are going to be focusing on our new high priority sinking funds binder. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Okay, so um, we are working with the new high priority sinking funds binder. So this is going to be a lot of what was in my original sinking funds binder um, with a few extra things thrown in. Um, so before with sinking funds, I did not do any of my savings challenge cards. Um, I was just kind of throwing whatever money I could in there. Um, but for 2023, I decided to go ahead and create savings challenges. Now, some of these, um, the goal is just to complete the challenge once. Others, I might want to complete two or three times throughout the year. But let's go ahead and set this binder up. So first one that we are going to start with is going to be debt snowball. So one of my goals for 2023 is to really focus on paying off more debt um, because we have not focused on that at all in 2022. So I created this little card. Um, each one is going to be worth $20 and there is 50 spots on here. Um, the goal is to complete obviously at least once one this year, but I would really like to complete two to three of these savings challenges throughout the year. So I'm going to put this in here. Um, we are not going to be starting any of these challenges um, until the first week in January. Um, so for the end of 2022, we're going to be focusing on like our Disney binder still um, and just our normal spending. Next up is going to be emergency savings. Um, again, this one is worth $20 for each block and there is 50 blocks. Um, the goal for this one is really going to be to complete it once, maybe twice. Um, but one complete round will be $1,000. So I'd really like to put an extra $1,000 towards emergencies this year. Um, we've got the Pet Emergency Fund next. These are each worth $10. Um, I do want to try and complete this challenge twice this year so that we can um, do $1,000 for pet emergencies. Um, but yeah, that one's how that one's looking like. Next up is going to be retirement. So retirement, they're each going to be worth $20 a piece. Um, again, I have stuck with the 50 blocks here. Um, so goal is to complete this once or twice this year, or I'm sorry, for 2023. Um, yeah, so that'll give us 1,000 to 2,000 going into retirement. Again, I'm going to be mostly focusing on debt, so that is why that one's not quite as high. Um, next is going to be car maintenance. Now, car maintenance, the money that was in here, I did go ahead and um, roll over for the new year, but we will not start, um, again, stuffing this until 2023. But that money I did want to roll over. Um, all the other challenges, we are starting from fresh and there's nothing in there. Um, next is going to be my husband's autocross or racing events. Um, I went ahead and created a little sheet here. Um, this one I want to complete once. 
maybe twice if he is um, going to be doing some of the bigger events. Next up is going to be car mods. Um, this one will probably complete once or twice this year, but they're each worth $10 a piece. And then we've got running. So running, um, this one will only be completed once this year. This should be, if we complete this challenge, that should be enough to um, take care of all of our races in 2023. And I forgot to pull out one more envelope. We've got one more envelope in here. Um, and that is home. Let's see if I can find it real quick. All right, so home. That is going to be home maintenance. Um, we are getting to that point in our condo. We've been here for 12 years. Things are slowly starting to break. Um, so I really want to focus on getting us a little chunk um, to have for any repairs that might come up in 2023. Um, so I'm rolling over the home sinking fund into this one. Okay. So that is going to be it for our new high priority sinking funds binder. So this is going to be the binder that I'm going to be stuffing the most money in throughout the year. Um, again, I am going to try and complete most of these um, at least two times, if not more. But this is these are going to be our main focuses for... 2023. Um, and depending on what's going on throughout the year, I might add um, vacation in here, whatever goals that we are like focusing on at that time, I might move around and move into this binder. Um, but as of now, these are kind of where our focus is going to be for 2023. So yeah, this was just kind of a quick, simple, fun video today. Um, the next one, we're going to be going over our low priority sinking funds. Um, I would also like to say um, most of these trackers, I am going to try and add to my Etsy shop. Some are already in there, but I am going to be trying to get all of the trackers that are going to be in my high priority and low priority sinking funds binder up on my shop before the new year. So if you're interested in those, make sure you head over to my Etsy shop. All right, well, that's going to be it for today. Come back next time and we are going to do the low priority sinking funds binder.